time. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Average Joe Watch Reviews, where we do more than just reviews. If this is your first time on the channel, please do me a huge favor and click that like button ever so gently. And I would seriously appreciate that. That is the most charitable way to help support the channel. So today we're talking about watch servicing. I actually service my Breitling Headwind. Uh, recently, I just got it back, and I'm going to show you guys the actual invoice. I'm going to review it. I'm going to show you everything that they've done, go, go into pricing, um, how long it takes, and give you guys my full impression and whether or not it's something I would recommend because I actually have a video out where I actually talk about why I've never serviced my watch. So, in this video, I finally broke down after more than 20 years and finally serviced my watch and I'm going to tell you why in the video. So I'm glad you guys joined me. Let's just dive right on in, shall we? All right, so the watch comes back actually in like a travel case. It's a zipper case, foam, um, protects it very nicely. And it's, you know, it's, it, it's a good little travel case for your watch and it's Breitling branded uh, as you can see here and they also give you a nice Breitling polishing cloth. Now I was actually able to uh, get my hands on a brand new Breitling box as you can see here. And this is where I wanna keep this watch and actually give you guys the experience of opening a new watch because essentially, um, believe it or not, it appears that we have a brand new watch. Check this out guys, wow. Now, I'm gonna show you some before and after pictures, but in the meantime, I'm gonna just take this off and just give you guys just everything that was done to this watch. Um, so they did an entire polishing of the watch, and they call it a crown steel polish for $72, and let me tell you something, well worth it. As you can see, I've already worn the watch, so, um, my wifey actually said, she's like, you better film this video before you scratch this watch all up. So um, this is only day three and I've actually haven't taken it off my wrist yet. But as you can see, it is, wow, you know, it's just. So before and after pictures, um, I think one of the biggest differences is the fact that I actually got the crystal replaced. Um, what happened was the crystal that was on this watch was uh, I, I actually mistakenly rubbed off the AR coating. So that one set me back $180 for a cambered sapphire crystal glare proofed on blo both sides. And you can see, you can see that blue tint. Um, but this thing does not have a bad angle. Now, so that's the first thing I noticed when I got this watch back is that there's virtually no reflection in the glass, the crystal itself. So money well spent there. The other thing was they did a really nice job on the brushing of the bezel. Now the bezel prior um, didn't sound bad at all, but now the operation here is flawless and crisp and it's, it feels like a brand new bezel, right? Now the other issue I had was the crown, I would have a hard time being able to screw the crown in. Now everything is just butter. Um, I'm able to push the crown in and it actually goes in immediately, no problems at all. So let's get into the reasons why I brought the watch in for service. First and foremost, um, and most importantly for me, the watch was not keeping proper time. It actually was, uh, about, man, it was losing, I'm sorry, it was gaining about five minutes every week. Um, and after every day or so, I, it was very noticeable in regards to how much time it has gained. So now, since having this watch for three days now, the time is now 3.47. So I'm gonna take a little bit, little, little bit of a break and see 
up, I'm gonna pit it up against my phone to see how much time has been lost or gained. Okay, so I took a quick peek and my cell phone says 347, which is what I actually uh, set the time up against. I was able to um, calibrate the time up against the cell phone. So now, granted, I could have lost, you know, 15 seconds, 30 seconds. That's possible. But in a typical three day span, this watch would have lost two two and a half minutes easily easily just in that span so the fact that this thing is actually still even to the minute is impressive so um, very happy with that as you can see the watch is highly highly polished whereas in the before pictures you could see that this watch was in major major bad condition um, look at the uh, Look at the clasp itself, how high polished that is. Now the clasp is what's gonna get most of the beating. And as you can see, the fact that I wore it uh, the last couple days, you can see that it doesn't take much to, to uh, scrape up a high polish bracelet or clasp, okay? Um, it's just uh, the reality of it. So, but you know, it's still like, if I can try to keep this at least shiny, um, the thing, I mean, it looks brand new, but that's, that's going to be one of your drawbacks to anyone that wants to get a high polish watch that is just completely, um, uh, polished. You're, you're going to have, you're going to see all of those imperfections because this watch was perfect when I got it back and you can see how quickly, um, you'll see those imperfections as you can see right here. So it just goes with the territory guys, you know, so if you don't want to see those imperfections, you're going to want to get a watch that has mostly brushing, like you see here in the bezel. Now, I learned something new about this particular watch, which is if you take the bracelet off, they say at the six o'clock, you'll be able to tell how old your watch is. So this one said 2603, which meant that it was the 26th week of 2003 so this watch was actually produced june of 2003 not a bad looking watch for being a a watch from 2003 i mean that is that is pretty impressive we're looking at almost two decades this watch is almost 20 years old and it looks brand new so i promise you guys i would give you a, give you some totals here so for the complete service, if I just have the service, the service itself is $490. What do they do? They disassemble the entire watch They and, and the movement. They put the movement into a bath, so they take out the, 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 the wheels, the springs, uh, everything in the movement itself. They replace stuff that needs to be replaced. They clean um, the, the other things that need to be, that need to be cleaned and essentially then reconstruct the movement, oil everything up, everything gets oiled, re-lubed, re they get new seals, everything then just gets put back to Breitling specifications, and then what they do is they then will test the watch. So. Uh, to calibrate the watch and make sure that it's accurate from multiple different uh, positions. So for instance, they may test it on the time graph uh, from a wrist perspective, sitting on your nightstand for instance. Uh, maybe they'll do it face down, but they do it from multiple different common positions. And that's how they get this particular watch calibrated. Um, and as you can see, after three days, this watch is still running extremely accurate. Um, now, as I said, I replaced the crystal for $180, which was extremely, extremely worth it. I mean, I, I couldn't be more happier with that. And then with taxes and everything else, shipping was another $45. So when it was all said and done, um, it was $742 plus the 45 plus tax.
So when we look at the, the total, we're looking at, but for a typical, um, if you just wanted the servicing, the servicing itself would only cost you um, $490 plus tax. So am I happy with it? Absolutely 100%. This is a new watch in comparison to uh, before, the before pictures. All right, well, I hope that I was able to uh, teach you a thing or two in the video. If I did, let me know down below what you guys learned. And also, if you have any questions down below, please shoot me a, a question down below in the comments. I'll definitely be more than happy to answer anything that you may have regarding this video. And I appreciate you guys watching. And I want you to remember one thing, that there's always time to be kind to one another. Please take care of each other. And I'll see you guys next time on Average Watch Reviews. God bless, my friends.